you'll learn. After you finish this lesson, you will be able to define pressure ulcer, identify causes of pressure ulcers, name the four stages of pressure ulcers, use correct technique to observe and prevent pressure ulcers. Pressure ulcers. Bedridden patients are at risk of developing pressure ulcers. Pressure ulcers, also called decubitus ulcers or bed sores, are skin and tissue injuries that are caused by unrelieved pressure on specific areas of the body. If the body is left in one position for too long, ulcers can form. Pressure ulcers are much easier to prevent than to treat. For this reason, healthcare workers must take every precaution to turn patients regularly and to promptly report changes in patient skin condition. Causes of pressure ulcers. The primary cause of pressure ulcers is unrelieved pressure on the body over a period of time. The following conditions may increase a patient's risk of developing pressure ulcers. Prolonged pressure that prevents circulation to an area of the body. Pressure on a bony prominence of the body. Friction against the bed linens or mattress. Shearing which is when the skin is pulled in the opposite direction as the bone. Moisture, dry skin, or irritation by urine or feces. Location of pressure ulcers. Healthcare workers should regularly observe patient's skin for signs of pressure ulcers. Special attention should be given to bony areas of the body called pressure points. Pressure points bear the weight of the body when the body is in certain positions. Pressure points include heels, knees, shoulders, shoulder blades, elbows, tailbone, and the back and sides of the head. In addition, pressure ulcers may occur wherever skin is in contact with other skin. This is especially true in obese patients. In these cases, healthcare workers should look for pressure ulcers between abdominal folds, the legs, the buttocks, and the breasts.